bro. I'm just holding on to this trailer. I feel like Aladdin. Woo! What's up guys, Jack here with MTS, and today we finally get the keys to the new apartment. So I gotta go pick up those now, and then we're gonna see what we can do in terms of storage and networking, because I wanna get all that stuff cleared out of the way today, make sure that I can you know, actually run my fiber lines, do all that stuff. I still have to go in the attic and pull my fiber line from this house. All right, so here's my fiber line. It gets tied up there and drops down. This is cheap Chinese fiber, so it's like thicker and not like anywhere near as fragile as like the really nice stuff, so yes, I can get away with tying it off, but comes along here with the other two network jacks that run to my room. Gotta be careful up here because I don't own this house anymore. So yeah, and there it goes down at the end to my room. And this is the port where my access point was connected right up here in the attic. I also found another fiber line, so yeah. All right, I'm pulling my fiber line off the wall. You can kind of see uh, where I wanted to put this panel, but I um, hit a pipe, so I had to put it next to it. So I just got this dual gang plate that holds it in place. But yeah, pulling off the, the uh, keystone and the cable and just replacing it with a blank insert. And my fiber line is gone. But it's not gone forever. It's coming with me to the new house. But at the apartment, it's gonna be used to run to my server down in the garage. And at the new house, it's gonna run from the basement to the attic. I just picked up the keys to the new apartment. So let's go head in there, see what everything looks like and see how we can network it. Okay, so Home Depot raised their prices on the low voltage mounting brackets, the retrofit ones. So instead of being like 75 cents a pop, now they're like $1.80. So now it makes more financial sense to buy them on Amazon. Yay, and look at this. A wild network jack appeared in my bedroom. Where does that go? Hmm, I have no idea. Oh, look. Wow, it comes out right by the ONT. Hmm, I have no idea how this got here. This. It's totally not set up perfectly so that way I can have my router and, you know, actual AT&T router crap here and then, you know, pass through directly to my, my bedroom. Of course, I, I wouldn't do that because I'm not supposed to be putting holes in the walls here at an apartment, but I didn't do that. I have no idea how it got here. I mean, what did you guys expect me to do? Use Wi-Fi? Yeah. So I'm here with my buddy Teddy and we're upgrading his computer. So he got a dead motherboard this asus rog board here fantastic so, board should be yeah so uh it's doa so we bought a new one from micro center tonight he's gonna return that one but we're rebuilding the computer we also uh got a new graphics card for him uh here we go rtx 3070 ti from zotac pretty sick card and i bought a new mic so expect some higher quality you know voice over computer jack from here on out. All right, so this is what I have brought over so far. I also have my storage cubes here. I need to bring over the shelf that they go on. I haven't done that yet, but I also reorganized all of them. So I was looking to get a new UPS, one for the servers outside. I just need a bigger one than what I'm currently running. And so I was looking at the APC backup uh, 1000, and then I went downstairs to my UPS shelf, and I realized I already have one. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I just needed to get the batteries replaced. So I replaced the batteries. I pulled this from a client site probably. So yeah, so instead of buying a new UPS, I just replaced the batteries in this one I already had. Okay, so this is kind of like my current, I guess, office right now. It's the dining room. TP-Link finally sent me the rest of that gear. Um, I wish I could just start working on that right now, but I really can't. I've been editing for two days and I've got probably another eight or so hours left with these videos, but that gives me a month and a half to take off and not have to worry about videos, whether that be my projects uh, for MTS or anything for client stuff for Miller Media. So getting everything done now because this setup is gonna get torn down tomorrow and taken into storage because really I have to get everything out of my room, out of the basement and everything so that way I can get it set up in the new apartment as fast as possible. So I want it all broken down in bins, ready to just be moved into the apartment. So I'm gonna be without my computer for a little bit.
and I got my server loaded up. This was terrifying to move. The next thing I have to do, and really the last thing, is my office chair. All right, so I got the server in the back, and it's 10 p.m., and I'm taking the back road to get to the new place, so I'm able to drive incredibly slowly. Normally, I drive a little bit over the speed limit, but today we're driving way under it just because I would rather not have to utilize the backups that I have. I'd rather just have the peace of mind knowing that they're there and uh, still be able to run with the data set that I currently have. All right, last time officially leaving my old house. Okay, so I have everything moved into the apartment. First off, we have my soundboard on top of the box of things for my bathroom by monitors and the router and the PoE injector that's powering the ONT on the other side of that wall and then cables and my computer acting as a media server and the rest of my network. Yeah, um, I need to get to organizing. My server is currently downstairs in the garage, although that might move. I can't go a hundred feet around my room because the networking stuff is gonna go in this corner right there. That's wrong. So I need the cable to go around the room and then come out to the utility room there and then go down two flights of stairs. And I can't do that with 100 feet, meaning I can't use the 30 meter versions of the, uh, the RJ45 to SFP adapters, uh, SFP Plus specifically. And I don't want to spend a couple hundred dollars on the ones I could do 80 meters. Um, I think I'm just going to do gigabit. I don't want to run fiber because I don't want to run it along the floor. And honestly, after being in this place, I really don't want to tape stuff to the ceiling. So instead, I'm probably just going to run gigabit. Oh, and also the fiber cable that I have is only 30 meters. So that wouldn't really be beneficial anyways, because I would still need longer cables. All right. So it's about day one and a half of us being fully moved into the apartment. And I got some pretty good progress done in the room today. So let me show you what I did. First thing I did was I got the, the shelf unit in here to hold all my boxes and bins. Then we have my 3D printer and tool bin right there other stuff so we have like handheld accessories and things uh, headphones and then a bunch of nerf darts and then my printer i have the ups network switch the tp link omada big switch and then the big access point got the omada controller there's a ups behind the access point and then uh we have my router and then the at&t gateway so i mean it's it's pretty good for right now until you see that the rest of the room still looks like this <laughs> And then I basically redid everything. A lot's happened since the last progress update. I redid my room, Fright Fest happened, and it went really well. There were a number of fun nights, and my room is still in shambles. Well, I still have a few mini piles to put away, but for the most part, my room is done. The networking stuff might change to 10 gig now that I moved things, and the run to the basement is now only about 110 feet. But anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a like. If you really liked it and want to see more of me in your subscription feed, well, then you can go ahead and get subscribed. And make sure you do so so that we don't miss the next two videos coming out here on the channel. The first one is going to be a tour of my old home network. You know, the one that I first learned how to network by, you know, doing. So it's terrible and has not been featured on the channel before. So you're going to get to see that. And then in the second video, we're going to be actually redoing the network here and showing you what I have now and redoing it all to be 10 gig. But anyway, guys, thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.